All right, it's time to go Zach to school with New York Post basketball reporter Zach Braziller. This is where Zach breaks down his trending articles that's up on the Post website. Zach, first and foremost, you wrote this one about a day or two ago, but the, the traffic is still going crazy on this one. It's all about former University of Texas coach Chris Beard. Now, the charges were dropped against him, but the allegations are still there. So do you see Beard landing a D1 basketball job? Yeah, 100%. I mean, look, it, the incident was ugly. We all know the the charge, you know, the allegations are still out there, the police report, um, you know, with, with his fiance. But I, I'd be stunned if he doesn't get a job next year. Um, and, and I think he's going to get a high major job. I, I really do. Look, this is a results business. People want to win, you know, you know, an old Miss kind of seems like the kind of school that that would go for him if they do make a change you have school like georgia tech washington places like that could have openings like he's a we all know he's a fantastic coach the charges were dropped as bad you know as these allegations are and look no one's making light of it i just you just know what the way college basketball works and you know a school that's really struggled like an old miss in, in the, over the last decade um i could see kind of going for him and he's gonna coach again you know maybe you know if you want to say a high major doesn't go that route yet he goes to a low major and wins big but he, he's clearly gonna keep coaching I, I don't think there's any question about it well, either way, uh, like we said, the charges were dropped, allegations still there, police report. Any team that does, any D1 basketball team that does pick him up, please do. I hope they don't try to give me some sort of moral speech uh, on, on morals and all. Moving on, NCAA top six team, they were, that was announced. Were you surprised that UConn was left out? UConn. Yeah, 100%. Look. They haven't been great in the Big East. They're, you know, they're only a game over 500 in the league, but their resume overall is really good. You know, they they, they beat they beat Alabama, they beat Iowa State. You know, they 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 recently beat Creighton, beat Marquette. I, I mean, there's no question that they belong. You know, there are some teams seated ahead of them in that top 16: Gonzaga, Indiana, and UConn clearly has better resume. There, there's no doubt about it. And you always hear from the committee, it's it's about the entire, your entire body of work. And UConn's entire body of work is a top four seed when you compare it to the other four seeds that they took. Now, look, this is a made-for-TV thing. There's still season left. I don't think people should go overboard on, you know, what, what we saw on, on Saturday. But based on that, still – UConn was deserving, and I think as long as they finish well here, they will get a top four seed. I don't know if it's the early 2000s in me, but I'm just shocked to hear UConn is is the one the team that's getting snubbed. All right, last but not least, St. John's dropped another game. Do you think it may be time for the school to move on from Mike Anderson? Yeah, look, I, I wrote in today's paper that it that it is. You know, I, Mike Anderson has been a very good coach for a long time. But he's 63. This is going to be the fourth year without a postseason berth for St. John's. This is two years in a row where they have NCAA tournament talent. And that's not me saying it. That's coaches. That's where they were picked. They were picked sixth in the league. They were picked to at least compete for the NCAA tournament. And it's just not going to happen. It's gotten worse here with more talent. You know, they, his first two years, were I thought, were very good. They were a very tough team to play. They really played defense. They pressured the ball. They were tough to deal with. And the last two years, that just hasn't happened. They've, you know, they don't pressure you nearly as much. They're incredibly undisciplined. And look, this isn't just a Mike Anderson problem. St. John's hasn't won an NCAA tournament game since 2000. They have not made the right hire. You know, you can look back to 2015 when they decided to hire Chris Mullen over Danny Hurley. Danny Hurley would have taken the job then. I was told by, you know, I've been told by a number of people. So look, it, it's not just about Anderson, but in the same vein, in this day and age, four years at a high major school without a postseason berth, let alone an NCAA tournament berth, you know, with the advent of the transfer portal is more than enough time. And look, if St. John's doesn't make a change, they're sending a very bad message to their fan base. They're telling their fans, we don't care about winning. That's my opinion. Now, he's owed a lot of money. He's owed close to $10 million. I wrote it. Go, go into the endowment if you have to. But this is a New York City college. There's, there's no doubt if they really, really want to make a change, they can find the money. 
That's for people. You know, I've heard that's not going to stop them. I, I, I think that it's the t- it's time. It's mm-hmm. it's just it's not going to get better. It'd be one thing if you saw progress and you know this team was close to the NCAA tournament and just missed, but that's not the case. They're they're not close. They're not getting better. It's two years in a row of disappointing results. I, I think it's time for a move. All right, you guys just got schooled and got brought up to speed. That's what we call Zach to school. Zach Brazilla, thanks for joining us. Hey, man, my pleasure.